Today we're going to look at searching and replacing text of the RAD Rich text box control. RAD Rich text box is part of Telerix RAD controls for Silverlight WPF control suite for .NET XAML development. RAD Rich text box supports searching the contents of the document along with providing some methods for manipulating the selection. Used in combination, they become quite powerful tool for enabling scenarios like highlighting of specific parts of the document or replacing words. In this video, we will search and replace text in the RAD Rich Box Control in Visual Studio 2010. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're back inside of Visual Studio 2010. We're working on the same project that we were working on in other part of the series. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a button. And once we get this button added onto our screen, we're going to use this button to search for text inside of the RAD Rich Text Box Control. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab this button and hopefully we can get it on there. Okay. So now we have a button and we're just going to give this a name of BTN search and we'll give the content here of just search. And then finally we're going to add an event handler here that when the user clicks on it they can actually search the Rad Rich text box document. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to create a method. We're going to go private void and we're going to go select all matches and we're going to simply pass this a string. So I have select all matches and then I'm passing it a string. So we'll just do this dot rad rich text box dot document dot selection dot clear. So this will clear the selection before processing. We'll use document text search and we'll just name this search equals new document text search and we'll give it this dot rad rich text box dot document. Now we're going to go ahead and set up a for each statement. So I'm just going to do for each. And we'll just use var text range in search dot find all to search. And now we'll just add in this dot rad rich text box dot document dot selection add selection start and this is going to be at the text range dot start position and then we're going to need to add in the add selection in so it's going to be back to the this dot rad rich text box dot document selection add selection in and we're going to give it the same text range and then the end position so now all we're going to need to do is actually go back to our button search and in the button search we're going to need to call this method with a select all matches on the name Telerik. So once that's in place we can go ahead and we can run the project and once the project is loaded we see that we have the word Telerik right here and if we hit the search button, let me select off of that we hit the search button you see that it selected that word. So we can also search for text and replace the text with a method as well. So we can actually search and replace text very easily. So we'll just go ahead and close out of this window and I'm going to scroll down and from here I'm just going to paste in a code snippet and we'll review it. Once we place in the replace all matches method, we'll see that it's looking for a to search string and then what it's going to replace it with. So right off the bat we're clearing just like we did before and then we have our document text search just like we did before. But where it gets a little bit different is right here. So inside of list we have a text range and you can see if you hover over it we have telerik.windows.documents.textsearch.textrange. So inside of this text range we can find all of the instances of what we're searching for. Once we find all of those instances that we're searching for you can see down in our for each loop we're going to go through our text range 
through the ranges tracking document changes we're going to add selection start like we did before add selection in like we did before but here we're going to insert the two replaced item and then of course we have to dispose of the rest of our objects so let's go ahead and we will change our button search and we're just going to type in here replace all matches and we'll just type in Telerix and we'll just replace this with R and if we run the application we see it has the word Telerix here and we hit search we see that it has replaced that with the text R. Thank you for watching and please tune in to tv.telerik.com for more videos and check out blogs.telerik.com for the latest news and announcements.